Today's walk is one of the shorter ones. We're going from Charing Cross to Embankment. Now, as I think I've said in previous videos, the walk between the two is incredibly short. You can see Embankment from Charing Cross, and it's a straight walk down Villiers Street. So let's go. The first thing I'd like to draw your attention to is this little alley, York Place, which was formerly known as Of Alley. There's a story behind that name. This land used to belong to George Villiers, Duke of Buckingham. Several streets around here were therefore named after him. When the obvious candidates, like George Street and Villiers Street, were taken, they named this street Of Alley. Here's a side entrance to Charing Cross. I don't know why I filmed that. Here on the left is the former home of Rudyard Kipling, the 19th century author and poet who made exceedingly good cakes. When it reopens, I thoroughly recommend you visit this place. This is the unique Gordon's Wine Bar, which is a fascinating little boozer. Inside, it looks like the sort of place where Harry Potter would go to get trashed. And here you see Victoria Embankment Gardens. In addition to being a delightful place to pass a little time, it has a minor claim to fame as one of the places where Bob Dylan filmed promotional material for subterranean homesick blues. Also, check out this gate here. This was part of the aforementioned Duke of Buckingham's estate and originally backed directly onto the river before the embankment was built, extending the foreshore. On the right is the way to Northumberland Avenue. And finally, here we are at Embankment Station. And here, our journey ends.